T-shirts. Everyone wears them, except for deviants. And for those at the cutting edge of fashion, one brand of T-shirt towers above the rest. Bunny ears. But where do Bunny Ears t-shirts come from? Each Bunny Ears design begins its life as the singular vision of classically trained ballet dancer and international film star Macaulay Corkin. When he is satisfied with his art, the manufacturing process can begin. He gathers his tools. He'll need a taut screen of fine mesh, crucial for screen printing a t-shirt. He weaves the mesh himself each morning. The pride on his face is evident. The screen will need to be coated in emulsion, a chemical which hardens when exposed to ultraviolet light. Macaulay's special recipe for emulsion is rumored to include the blood of his enemies, but he'll never tell. The scoop coater is used to scoop up emulsion and coat the screen with it. Sensational. Most importantly, a negative of the artwork printed on a transparent sheet these transparencies are later sold at invitation-only private auctions, with some designs fetching upward of a dozen dollars. The 1992 MTV Award winner for Best Kiss heads to his dark room. No ultraviolet light can penetrate this secret chamber, making it safe to work with the emulsion. He fills the scoop coater with emulsion. Thus far, there's surprisingly little scooping he is careful to scrape off any excess. Now he will coat the mesh screen in the still liquid emulsion. The man, once ranked number two on VH1's list of 100 greatest child stars, will now drag the scoop coater up and then shake. Coating the screen is a precise and delicate process. If the emulsion is applied in too thick a layer, it will be difficult to wash out the design later but the practiced hand of classically trained ballet dancer Macaulay Culkin makes it look easy. Working at this rate, he'll make as many as three t-shirts per day. He places the screen on the drying rack and now must wait one hour for the emulsion to dry. The first child actor to be paid one million dollars for a single role waits. As he does, he contemplates the decisions in his life that have brought him here. Now that the emulsion has dried, he'll affix the transparency to the screen, utilizing the powerful adhesive properties of Scotch brand tape. As he lowers the screen, the Scotch brand tape placed at each corner of the transparency forms a powerful bond with the screen, keeping the design in place. He never doubts the efficacy of Scotch brand tape, but it is still important to verify that the design is secured. Success! Now it is time to transport the screen to a light box, where it will be vacuum sealed, then bombarded with ultraviolet light and powerful gamma rays. He must ensure the screen is securely latched within the box to avoid catastrophic fallout. He activates the proprietary suction engine, which he painstakingly designed himself. This will create an impermeable vacuum seal around the screen. The ultraviolet light will harden all of the emulsion not blocked by the image affixed to the screen, allowing ink to pass through the screen only in the shape of the design. The gamma radiation, meanwhile, may someday give Macaulay Corkin superpowers. Before he can activate the ultraviolet light, eye protection is necessary. Once again, his only recourse is to wait. Once enough time has passed and the emulsion is fully solidified, it's time to take the screen to the washout sink. Having been shielded from the ultraviolet light by the negative of the image, emulsion in the shape of the design is still liquid and can now be blasted out with a power washer. He must be careful as the powerful water jet can destroy the screen if held too close. He must also be careful not to spray himself as the torrent of water is powerful enough to flint skin from the bone. Can you imagine how horrifying that would be? Just spraying the muscles of your forearm clean off, washing away the skin and fat in strips? Would you even feel it? Or, or, or would it destroy the nerve endings before you realized what was happening? Oh, he's finished. 
Now that he's completed the screen, the star of one of the highest grossing films of all time heads to the off-site printing facility. He takes care to meticulously align the screen with the center of the printing area, ensuring the perfectly straight designs that bunny ears garments are known for. They're not crooked. That's the bunny ears promise. Next, he coats the printing area with a spray adhesive, which will keep the fabric in place during the printing process. It is important never to spray the adhesive into a paper bag and inhale the resulting fumes, no matter how tempting it may be to do so. Perhaps the most important part of the entire manufacturing process is choosing the correct garment on which to print. If the wrong size is chosen, it won't fit the customer. This will fill the customer with a white-hot rage. Once the shirt is aligned, adhered to the platen and gently caressed, it's ready for printing. Plastical ink is applied to the screen. The ink is pulled across the screen, distributed evenly in a process called flooding. As you can see, Macaulay Culkin is adept at this process. After a full day of preparation, it's finally time to print. He presses the ink through the mesh of the screen onto the fibers of the shirt. The still wet ink must be heated to prevent it from washing out. This flash heater is set to over 200 degrees Celsius. It is believed that this is hotter than the surface of the sun. Still, it takes some time before the ink will be hot enough to solidify. He's done it. A shirt has been produced. It's moments like this that make it all worthwhile. Every shirt ships out with a high quality label. Many of them ship out with bunny ears labels. He simply places the label on the label gun, pierces the seam at the shirt's sleeve and places the label. The shirt is nearly ready to be shipped out. But first, each garment must undergo Macaulay Culkin's rigorous quality assurance screening. It is tested for comfort as well as durability. He makes sure that it is suitable for an active, high-performance lifestyle. It looks like this one has passed with flying colors. All that's left is for the shipping label to be written so that the shirt can be packed and shipped. I wonder which bunny ear shopper ordered this one.